but right now what we're seeing, the visibility seems to be better than this morning where there were a few car accidents. Those accidents today included this one on Oliver Road around 9.30 a.m. this morning. State police say at the time of the crash, there was low visibility and slick road conditions, and a 17-year-old driver was driving too fast for weather conditions. So he lost control, hit a tree, ripping his vehicle in half. Rescue crews spent almost two hours to get him out before rushing him to the hospital in critical condition. And a, and a one vehicle accident on West 12th Street in Mill Creek near the airport entrance caused a power outage at the airport when the driver took down an electrical box. While PennDOT crew says they have been doing their best to keep up with the roads, those with PennDOT say when this weather hits, drivers need to do their part too. Um, our crews have been out since about 4 or 5 a.m. on Wednesday treating the roadway. Thankfully, there was a lot of residual salt material on the road, so that, that did help. Um, and they are still spreading material in areas where there might be some slush, um, but primarily the roads are just wet. Um, but we still would advise people just to reduce their speed and make sure that they're increasing their following distance around other vehicles. And unfortunately, the terrible road conditions led to one fatal accident around 1.30 this afternoon on Westlake Road in Fairview. The state police say 52-year-old William Newman on West Springfield died when he lost control of the slush and ice and hit another vehicle.